the night c6 what was the, what was the office space i was in yesterday i was at um the public safety building for the for the local m municipal government here in sunrise florida um it's category five uh hurricane resistant building so if there when there are hurricanes all the local heads of the various uh municipal agencies like the police fire department mayor um and, and everybody are there uh planning for the hurricane so it's a, it's a very serious building very good internet very secure um so yeah that's where i was playing from yesterday play ninety seven. Was it harder to play on the big screen? No, I love playing on the I love playing on the 65 inch. That was fantastic. I loved it. Let's play F6. Play Knight of Fate 96. Okay, so he wants to go over this 92 again. Again, I can cast. We can play something very similar to what we just had. I'm just going to play a6 this game and just castle. And if he wants to take, I just take back. Let's play rook a d8. Queen g4. So he's probably going to play knight a5 at some point, but who cares? Um, I'll just play queen d7. Whoa, thank you, Jam Narodisky, for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much to Dania. Thank you for the five gifted subs to the one and only GM Daniel Narodisky from uh, Sunny. Well, I guess he's not going to be from there for long, but from uh, from from Cal California or California, I should say. Um, now I've got B five here. Let me think about this. B5, knight d2. Yeah, I'm going to play b5. Maybe it's not good. Oh, I could have just taken played f5 and queen d5. What am I even thinking? Why did I play b5? Horrendous move. Absolutely horrendous. Because I could have just played takes f5, queen d5. What was that? I just made this huge weakness on a6 for literally no good reason. Um... Well, at this point, I'm going to have to do it anyway, though, because I've already made a mess out of this. Play rook f5. Okay, I don't understand rook f3 because now I go rook f8. Place rook f1. Okay, now I can maybe just play c5, which I kind of like here. Okay, queen g2, so he's going for tricks here, so I'm going to play king h8. I can play knight d4, which I will do. Now I'll go rook f2, and I think I play c4 here. Oh, he still has these rook h7 nonsense tricks, so I have to play h6 to stop that. Oh, but now I just give him rook g1. Okay, he misses it. He plays that. Okay, I go knight e6, hit the pawn on f4. Play rook f4, rook f4, knight f4. Queen g4, just knight e6 again, of course. Want to keep the knight very central here to all my pawns. I think I can play c4 here. 
He can't take because I've got queen d1, king g2, knight f4 check. He, he wants to go check knight f6 and make a draw. Is that a draw though? No, I don't think it is a draw, so I can just take... Let's make a check. Now if I, let's see, if I take, he can't take. This just wins. Because queen f1 is checkmate here. play c5 so I'll take and play d4 who's that black page on your head what I don't understand what you're talking about anyway let's play bishop b2 and just castles queen f1 what a demon yeah I mean I'm playing okay now I'm starting to play better than I was at the start of the stream but I, I wouldn't say it's great this is actually so, this is very similar to one of the games between Grishchuk and Artemiev in their uh, speed chess championship match it's pretty close Face chess has nice updated pit profile picture, but face chess, I did not agree to make the change. Chess.com changed my profile picture without asking me because they're such mean people. Anyway, knight f3, rook c8. Okay, so I can obviously take, I might be able to play. I'm sure he's going to gambit the pawn, but I don't, I think I can just take the pawn. I, 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 don't, I don't believe him, so I'm just going to take it. I'm sure black is comp, but yeah. G4. Okay, so I he can't I can't trade Queens H3 gets rook d8. I'm gonna play rook e1 idea to play queen g5 so that I can Oh, but he's got rook d5 at the end. Oh, hitting both. Um Oh, so queen g5 is not actually a threat. Okay, plays a6. Which looks a little bit weird to me. Um okay, obviously knight d4. Is Tesla a good investment? I mean, I'm not I, I think most people know my attitude. I think Tesla cars are incredibly nice to drive, but as a company, Tesla, I don't believe in Tesla at all, and I never will. Plain and simple. There's there's my nice, sweet answer, so nobody needs to ask more than once. I mean, hey, I wish I wish that I could just go around getting, you know, burning burning cash and needing an extra billion here or there and people just giving me the the funding of course you always want your funding to be secured ha 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 um knight takes d4 let's play knight takes d4 i think i'm just up a pawn here i don't really understand what sugar sugarov is doing oh but he's got queen b2 oh wait no it's not me oh i can i can just defend the knight what am, what's wrong with me today i'm just so out of my mind let's play King f1. This looks right. Sugarov. I mean, it's Sugarov, I think. Daniel would know better than I would in terms of actually pronouncing it. But but yeah. I think it's Sugarov. It's because it's SJ. I think it's like Sh. You know, like um, like Shug. Shug. What's his name? Shug Knight, right? Shug Knight. Or Sugar Knight. Sugar Knight, I think. Okay, let's play Queen takes b7. Queen d3. Um, yeah, as a move, but I don't need it. Now the question is, can I play rook c8, queen b1, knight c1? I'm pretty sure I can. Do I need to? No. So I'll just play g3. It's um, it's it's a dark square bishop. So actually, maybe I should have because now after king g7, still a pawn, but it's not. I don't know. King g7, knight d4, knight e6. What am I thinking? Of course, very easy. What? But why is this okay for black? This can't be okay for black. This is just lost for black. Yeah, Sugar Knight, right? <laughs> Sugar Knight killed Tupac. I don't know who killed Tupac. Okay, what's this? If I just take? Okay, just resigns. Okay. Weird. Very weird. Didn't understand that. It's Sugarov. Sugarov. Dan Daniel would know better than I would. Play Knight 6. Why am I not providing commentary of the 960? Because there is a reasonably good chance... Um, that I will play one of them tomorrow. Thank you, Biological One, for the six months. Because there's such a good chance that I'll play one of them tomorrow, I really don't want to be doing commentary on that today.
It's Sugarov. So it's Su, like Sugar, or like, um, Syrup, Syrup. Plays Bishop D2. Again, we're playing the same kind of... Plays knight g5 now. Okay, so we'll take again. Play f6. We're going to get another one of these lines. Okay, I'm going to go knight of eight, knight e6. Put the knight on the square, eyeing f4 and d4 again. Sugirov. Sugirov. Okay, king h1. Let's play knight e6. Plays knight h4. I was wondering about g6 here. I think I just play g6. Why not? Because if f4, I can always just take and castle. Like, it plays g3. I'm just going to go long here. I can take well I made number one and blitz roll Magnus come back I mean I think the thing is everybody's gonna have a bad tournament and everyone's gonna lose a ton of points I did Magnus did Maxime did um so everybody's gonna have a bad tournament and then once we're back down at normal then it starts over again we get back to our normal winning ways and then and then we'll see who's number one but I mean I think it's there's gonna be big fluctuations because of the uh because of the k factor Guess I'll take with the C pawn here and play A5. Actually, I can even just play C5 here. Knight D4 looks pretty good in a move or two. Yeah, MVL lost. No, he lost way more. I think MVL lost like he didn't lose 120. I think he lost 190. Yeah, MVL lost a lot of points. It's crazy. I'm just gonna go H4. He's gonna try to re remaneuver his knight to E3 and F5. Maxime lost 190. He lost 190. He lost 190, which is just like, I mean, Ma Maxime should never lose, I mean, that many points, but he had two bad tournaments and just like that, I mean, but I guess uh, White can play G4 if I try to double. He does, okay. So obviously I put my knight on F4 here. Maybe I could have played H3. Don't know if it's beneficial or not. Okay, I'm going to get aggressive here. Maybe queen e6. Position should be better for me just based on where my rooks are. Okay, so he's, he's trying, I think, to get c4, knight d5. I don't want to let him, so I'm just going to play a6. Actually, what about c4 and sacking exchange? Wow. Um, Daniel would like this. Daniel would approve. So I'm going to do it. I don't know if it's good, but Daniel would approve. Daniel would approve of this, so I've, I've got to do it for Daniel. King f1, so I just take. Again, he can't move the queen off because of checkmate. I can't lose now because I've got a rook and a great knight. My pawns are very solid. Um, what is this? What is he doing? He's just giving me all these pawns for no reason. I don't really understand this. Because now I play rook d6 and I'm very solid. Everything is protected. I can go rook c6. In fact, I think I'm gonna play h3 here to create um, a pass pawn. Maybe rook c2. Okay, king e4. Hmm. Wait, wait a second. Let's make a check. Um, knight d3 maybe? Stop the check, threaten to take. But now I have check in rook d4. Oh, he's got king e3. Still tricky. Okay, let's play this. Okay, let's go a5, a4, a3, a2. Okay, he's got queen e8. <sighs> let's see, I guess I'll play knight d6.
Let's see. Okay, knight b5 maybe. Number k4 looks correct. Knight c3 and a2. Good check. Okay, let's play a2. Okay, I've just got to move. I mean, oh, what was that? Whoops, whoops. Oh, you. Okay. Yikes. Okay. Anyway, another win. Phil's Drosh. It was Drosh. I was I was probably winning if I kept all the pawns. If I kept the four four connected instead of getting creative, it probably was winning. But but yeah. They okay, play C five. Oh no, sorry. I I pre moved D four. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Let's just take and play Bishop B two. I guess he can take with the D pawn if he wants. He does, okay. Um, he's trying to play some knight g4 tricks. Actually, it's kind of a serious threat. Um, like a very serious threat, in fact. Huh. How bizarre. Guess I'll play f4. I don't know if it works, but I'll do it. So let's just play ninety two. No, let's just take. Oh, oh no, I have Bishop E five. Okay. Wait, Queen E two. Hitting the queen, I'm gonna take the knight. Now I go bishop b2, like this is terrible for black. Like this diagonal is just crushing. Just knight f3, knight g5 coming. Okay, I think I can just take. Um, let's go queen f6. How bizarre. I think King F1 is just winning because I can just play rookie one. It's making me crazy. Time I look around. Time I look around. Thank you, Tony Bax, for the four months. Much appreciated. Tony Bax, is that a poker player? Or is that just a... Oh, I just blundered. Why did I do this? I'm supposed to play bishop e4 first. Why did... Okay, I'll take... How bizarre. C5 is obviously a move here. I think queen d5 is completely fine, though. Just play like rook d8, play for c5. Now, I know at some point you can always play c5. I'm just going to do it here. I don't know if it works, but I'm going to do it.
If queen e3, I might also... Or no, bishop g2, there's knight d4, so no. Baby. Ooh, baby. You know, I've got bishop d5. I also have b4 here. Um, actually, what is wrong with bishop d5? a b5, bishop b3, knight d4, bishop d5. I mean, it's... I don't believe him, so I'm gonna go bishop d5. If you if you guys watch Ikaru while listening to Slayer, it looks like he's jamming to death metal. Death metal, okay. Interesting. Okay, so he, he goes for this, but... Yeah, I mean, I go back. He takes on a6. Queen b8, and I've got knight d5, and I, I don't understand this precisely. I mean, maybe I'm missing something, but... Wow, c6, okay. So he's just trying to play this positionally for, um... Okay, I always have a5. I have bishop g2 first, but I think I should just play... Well, a5, he's got b6 or something? Huh. Okay, I'm gonna play a5, though, because I don't believe him. Spooky, spooky pawns. Yes, indeed. Okay, but now I just take. If B... No, dude, what is this? I just take? Oh, no! Oh, no! I blundered! Oh, no! I blundered! I blundered. He has rook c7 at the end. I forgot about that. Okay, so I'm gonna have to sack my queen and hope now for the best. I've got two pieces for a queen here. Again, I've sacked a queen. I thought I could just take. I just blundered the takes. Takes, he had rook c7. So he plays queen g5, so I can play knight d5 here. Rook c5 looks good enough. Not enough compensation by any stretch of the imagination, but again, two pieces, or two bishops more specifically, is something, at least. Okay, I think just bishop a6. Hitting the pawn on e2 as well. Plays rook c1. I can trade and play bishop f6, maybe. I think I'll trade and play bishop f6. This is not a pure sack, though. It's not a pure sack, the way that it could be. Plays knight c6, so obviously I have to take. I'll take now, maybe like just h5, h4. Yeah, I think I'll still play h4, why not? Okay, plays b4. Oh, I've got knight c3, knight e2 coming now. Ooh, this is getting dicey. Uh, that's a third piece. Oh, wow. He just... Shugarov just blundered this. Okay, now bishop a4. Or Sugarov, I should say. I've got three pieces for the queen, and I just win. Just another win. Oh, he stops? He stops. Yeah, he stops there. Okay. Fair enough. That's ten games right on the nose, so it's not shocking. Um... Uh, do I want to play Dania? Dania is so low. Twenty. What is Dania doing? Twenty nine ninety nine at Blitz. I mean, Dania should never be twenty nine ninety nine. I'll play Dania like six games, I think. 